Hi, in this lesson, we'll explore ways to format our text. We've been learning HTML, and we know how to build standard web pages, which is awesome. But things are about to get so much better, because we're going to add some style. How are we going to add this style? Introducing HTML formatting. HTML provides several tags for formatting text on your web pages. The first formatting tag we're going to learn about is the P tag. It stands for a paragraph of text. For example, if I had this HTML paragraph 1 inside of a P tag and paragraph 2 inside of a P tag, the result would look something like this. Notice that there is an automatic line break or new line created after a paragraph tag. If I were to take the p tags out of the code, the resulting output would look like this, because in HTML, any new lines or white space is just interpreted as a single space. So by adding the p tags, we can create separate paragraphs on new lines. The next tag we're going to look at is the em tag. This semantic tag lets us emphasize important text typically by italicizing the text inside the tag. You can also italicize text with an I tag, but this is used for styling purposes only. We'll discuss that in more detail later, but for now, you'll use the EM tag to stylize text that should be emphasized. Next, let's look at the strong tag. This semantic tag bolds text that's strongly important. Similar to the EM tag, another tag can be used to stylize text with a bold look, the B tag. However, many web designers today refrain from using this tag for various reasons. In this course, you'll use the strong tag to indicate when text is strongly important. The HR tag creates a horizontal rule or line on the HTML page. Unlike the P, E, M, and strong tags, the HR tag doesn't have a closing tag. For example, a paragraph above and a paragraph below separated with an HR tag would result in something like this on the HTML page. A BR tag or line break also has no closing tag. This tag creates a new line or a blank line. For example, in this address surrounded by P tags, we may want to put each line of the address on a new line. As is, the HTML page would put the address all on a single line. All white space in an HTML document gets displayed as single spaces in the resulting web page. Adding spaces in the code still shows the address on a single line on the HTML page. We would need to add line breaks, or BR tags, at the end of each line in the HTML document for the address to appear like this on the HTML web page. You've used the H1 tag previously to style a heading on a web page. There are other heading tags you can use as well, each ending with a number. As the number grows, the heading font size decreases. Here are some examples of how the heading tags impact the text on the web page. You can also nest text formatting tags to combine different styles. For example, this very important message surrounded by strong tags could also be surrounded by EM tags to emphasize it more with italics. The result would be text that's both bold and italic on the web page. So far, we've explored the P tag for paragraphs, EM to emphasize text with italics, strong to bold strongly important content, the HR tag to add horizontal rules, BR to insert a line break, and heading tags to change the style and size of text headings. Let's explore these text formatting tags further in the editor.
Here we have a dictionary entry, and it's the word dictionary, but everything's kind of jumbled together in the content of the definition of the word. So to break this apart, we're going to add a heading 5 tag around the actual pronunciation of the word, and an emphasis tag around the uh portion of the pronunciation. And then we'll also add a p tag at the beginning and end of noun, plural, and the form of dictionary as a plural form, which is dictionaries. And to really strongly uh, emphasize that portion of the text, we'll add the strong tag around that. And then we'll add a P tag at the beginning and end of the actual definition. So that should separate our text a little better. When we refresh the page, that does look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, and it's easier to find the content we need. And now it's your turn to format some text in HTML.